We're back, people, and today we're breaking down film on Talanoa Hufanga. I was a big fan of his game coming out of USC. Just a highly instinctual safety, really fun player to watch near the line of scrimmage. He really understands what's going on. He's been even better than I thought in deeper coverages, uh, deep zone, even playing some match in the slot. And then, you know, he made some big plays versus the Rams, the big interception. So let's get right into this one. We got Hufanga in the slot. They're playing cover one here and getting the pick on the screen that's not even your guy super impressive instincts and then shows off you know the speed to get this interception for a touchdown we'll go back watch this a little more slowly he sees his man going out no showing that he's going to block he recognizes this diagnoses this right away gets his eyes sees the screen on the outside gets his sticks his foot in the ground gets downhill gets his eyes back to the quarterback for the interception just processes things at such a high level super instinctual player as i've said the awareness is off the charts just plays at a different level than everyone else and that allows his play speed to be higher i know coming out of usc people had some concern with the injuries maybe the athleticism um but when you're playing at such a high level mentally and you're a decent athlete your play speed will be off the charts just like talanoa's is and it's uh really exciting to watch him blow up in his second year this time we have him on the back side of a run. He coming unblocked. You can't let this happen. He's too instinctual. Just understands angles. Reads that this is run. Even later in this video, I'll show a play where it's a very similar concept. But he recognizes that it's going to be play action boot. And he takes a perfect angle. So he's just aware, again, of what's happening. He's really comfortable playing at, near, and around the line of scrimmage. Sees the alignment. Keys the down blocks. Everyone's taking their steps to the left here. Working outside zone. He flattens his angles out to meet Gordon right at the point of attack and then limit this play for a loss. Usually, you leave an unblocked defender at the line of, at the backside of the play here. They don't get down, make this play so quickly on the runner, and just a really high-level play. Again, love him near the line of scrimmage. He's obviously super comfortable there, but the growth he's showing on the back end, playing in like quarters, deep half coverages, has been really impressive. This is a guy who just gets it. He watches the film. He understands. Look at him time up this snap. Everything about this, the disguise, the timing of it all, feels this, recognizes the draw, takes his point right to the running back. Like, this is a draw play. A lot of players right here, you can tell he knows that this is still a run play. He even reads this, but his whole angle, he's going for the running back the entire time, never falters. It's just a super impressive play off the edge. That means, you know, this guy's watching film, understands what's coming in each situation, and just based on what the O-line's doing, this tight end sort of like going down, blocking down. He takes the perfect angle to the point of attack, gets his tackle for loss. Like his decision making, his judgment is off the chart because whenever he has to make like a 50-50 split second decision, he always makes the right one. They're playing in like a cover three match here and you just get to see him stick in the tight end's pocket here. So pretty good job staying over the top, staying stacked and being in a perfect position to make a play at the catch point. So when he was coming out of college, I don't think people trusted him to match up versus tight ends. But he did, he's he been doing a pretty good job through the first four weeks. Just playing in good positioning, recognizing, showing some good route anticipation, playing with good leverage, and then being in uh, the position to make a play at the catch point. Showing some better ball skills. Not the guy who's always going to get interceptions, but he will make plays with on-ball production. Like Even the interceptions he's had, they've been more of a... Like that pick six versus the Rams, he kind of bobbled it. Doesn't have the best hands overall, but will make plays at the catch point with timing and technique. Just love the impact that Hufanga can have on literally any play, make an impact on all three levels. Here he is on the back side of a, a play action this time and just reads this, has this all the way. He doesn't flatten his angle here like last time. Last time when they were running the ball, he immediately flattened his angle to Gordon. But he's recognizing this, showing amazing awareness. Doesn't flatten, doesn't flatten, is keeping his path towards the quarterback. He's seeing the angle of this mesh point, knowing he's not going to have a chance to really make a play on this if he does flatten the angle. So he stays for the play action, sticks that foot in the ground, closes pretty well, and then it allows the ball to get out too quickly, and then they get a two-yard loss on the play. Just the awareness, the instincts, all of it. Amazing around the line of scrimmage, and he recognizes plays so fast and always makes the correct decisions. Good job by Hufanga here, forcing an interception. He doesn't get the pick himself, but he tips it up to his teammate. Playing in a three match here. Plays with pretty good route anticipation. Good job staying in positioning, and then good awareness to undercut this. Feeling the ball being thrown, just 
playing your angles, understanding if you have a chance based on your positioning. Knows where his help is too, so he feels like he can take this chance to undercut it and then gets the tip up in the air for the interception. He's just a playmaker. When he's not getting the interceptions, he's helping his teammates be in good position to make plays. Like the last two plays we've seen now, he uh, forced a quick pass, then his teammate made the tackle for loss, and then this time gets the tip up in the air, and then his teammate gets the pick. Just a big-time playmaker, even if he's not getting, you know, the big-time stat on the play for the TFL, but he's getting the hurry, and this time he gets the pass deflection, but he doesn't get the interception. So really, really good play from Hufanga again. He's just such an instinctual player. As I said throughout this video, all these plays have shown how instinctual he is, how comfortable he is playing near the line of scrimmage. Great job timing, disguising this run blitz, knows exactly what's coming. This is the first play right after that interception. So he's expecting run, he's guessing run, and he just shoots straight into the backfield, makes the tackle for loss, basically at the mesh point. And no one sees him coming, no one's there to block him. And it's just super impressive how he just continually... Like, it's just consistently, he's making these plays over and over and over again through these first, like, four weeks of the season. Niners in quarters coverage. This time, he gets to just make a nice break on the ball, showing some solid anticipation, good footwork, shows solid transitional ability downfield, and then shows some nice closing bursts to make a play right at the catch point before the ball gets there. Perfect timing and everything. He just shows a great feel for this. He reads this coming, reading the QB, sees his eyes snap back to him, and he's already ready to break down on the dig route. Just really impressed with his ability in quarters, um, making plays in deeper zone type coverages. And then he's very comfortable also playing downhill. He's a top-down type of player, and he still gets there right at the catch point. This was his first interception of the season. Uh, they're playing cover three. He's the robber. He's just reading the QB's eyes. Starts to cheat to this, uh, to the side, the backside, because he's on the backside of a three by one. So he feels this going towards the front side. Starts cheating, reading the eyes of the QB. Takes these steps to gain leverage. Peeked over there to see the number three running, breaking like towards the inside, and he just breaks on field's throw, reading the eyes, reading the drops of the quarterback. Just another instinctual play, but this time in coverage, seeing how aware he is, understanding what he's doing in zone. Man, every type of coverage. We've seen him in quarters. We've seen him robbing. We've seen him playing in a match. We've also seen him playing cover one man versus tight ends. It's just pretty much anything you ask of him, he can do it. So seeing him playing more of like in the box, playing like a off-ball linebacker, a little bit outside of the box here, but here recognizes the pass, drops, then sees the screen, beats the blocks, Shows closing speed. He has some nice burst to his game. That's his most impressive, I think, athletic trait. Is just a little bit of closing burst. He sees... He's just reading fullback here, seeing him go out. Thinking it could be a run concept, but once he recognizes it's a pass. Drops back into coverage. Takes his eyes off the play. Then sees the screen coming. Sticks the foot in the ground. Gets downhill before the fullback can block him. Dips that shoulder to beat him. And then the burst, the tackling, the angles, everything to go through and underneath that running back's legs. All of it super impressive. He just continually makes these plays, all different types of plays, but shows off how smart he is as a football player in so many different facets of the game. Another play versus the run, but now he's in another similar spot versus the Bears. He's playing more of a, like as a third dime linebacker type, and he just recognizes it so quickly. Technically doesn't get the tackle for loss, but he disrupts this play. The receiver, he shoots up field so quickly, the receiver's not able to get him on the crackback, and he dips that shoulder too. So highly technical play, just forces the whiff completely and then takes a great angle and then gets all the teammates help. We can see it from the other angle too. Just any position, he's making plays versus the run. Even from a deep alignment, he's getting downhill and helping versus the run. Just love the competitiveness he plays with, the instincts all around in every area. I don't know, I have to, I've said it so many times, but his instincts just so, so good. Time we get to see him make more of a run stop working from like a dime linebacker position where he has to shoot up into an A-gap. We've seen a lot of his plays come off the edge or shooting C-gaps, running in the alley. That's where he's been more effective. But he does a good job here, recognizing the double team, knows his run fit, gets right into this, shoots the A-gap, two double teams. He knows this is what his responsibility right here. So he just gets down, sees 65, try to get out to him, and then dips that shoulder underneath again. Shows some nice lower body flexion too to change direction, seeing the point where Herbert's trying to go into a different gap after he filled his and still makes the tackle right at the line of scrimmage. So another great run play, 
but this time showing what he's capable of working you know on the inside versus inside zone runs those types of plays gap power runs but working through the a gap last play that i'm going to show in this breakdown another good play versus the run just beating to the point of attack again you allow him to blitz versus the run and he's gonna make a play versus this against the bears a lot of the earlier in the video we were seeing him play off the edge but against the bears playing more of an off ball spot or as like an overhang defender and he's gonna beat you to the point of attack there's receivers are not gonna be able to get to him in a crack back he recognizes plays too fast gets down plays uh with too much aggressiveness downhill that if the receivers are on the best spots to make blocks they're not even gonna get hands on him get like on the his back basically and even help his momentum to the running back he's just too instinctual too aware of what's going on around him in every single scenario he's honestly i think one of the smarter safeties in the league especially versus the run i think his coverage has also improved from college and his first season so i think if he continues to even grow in coverage even becomes more of a guy that can play man versus tight ends like he could be one of the best safeties in the league he's playing like one of the better safeties in the league anyways right now but if he can keep up this consistency he will then be you know definitely one of the top 10 top five safeties if he can keep this up because he's playing so good right now and i really think he has what like what he, he's capable of being one of those guys with just how smart of a football player that he is so if you guys enjoyed make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time peace